does money equal influence? That's what the News 8 investigators are asking politicians who are both taking campaign donations and making decisions on issues. Well, it's all about Indian tribes and whether or not more tribes could become recognized. News 8's investigator, Chief Investigator David Iverson, walks us through that controversy and what's at stake. It all depends on what a small group in Washington called the Bureau of Indian Affairs decides to do. Tribes say it could help them, but politicians say it could bring chaos to Connecticut. We come to the chief's grave, we light a little sage for his spirit. At their Trumbull home, members of the Golden Hill Pagusset tribe hold ceremonies like this often. On the small plot of land they call home, their lives could soon change forever. The education, it's the health care, you know, the job training, there's all that that we're looking for. For the tribes across Connecticut, what is being considered thousands of miles away could have a big impact on their lives at home. There are tribal people chomping at the bit, waiting to move on to the reservation. The Bureau of Indian Affairs is thinking about changing what groups have to prove to show they are tribes, a move that could mean Connecticut has three more federally recognized sovereign nations, a move many politicians are fighting. At the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow of tribal recognition is the ability to open up a casino. State lawmakers like Arthur O'Neill are among those fighting the changes. Governor Malloy, Attorney General George Jepson are fighting it as well. It's not about benefits, they say. This is about money and the worry about land claims. More than 400 residences, including these, are affected by the land claims. In 1993, more than 1,200 homeowners had their property threatened by a claim that land in Southbury and other towns belonged to the Golden Hill tribe. The same thing will happen again, says O'Neill. They would make the claims. That would create chaos and huge anxiety, chaos in the real estate market. No, we're not going to go around, you know, bulldozing and you know, uprooting everybody and placing this here, there, and everywhere. Tribal members say they're not interested in land claims. They're interested in supporting the tribe. Same story from the Scaticoke tribe. It doesn't mean they're going to go out and grab up everybody's land. This bell rang in 1994 when the Mohegan tribe got their recognition and became a sovereign nation. Since then, billions have gone to the state in gambling money and thousands more from tribes directly to Connecticut politicians. There is something very untoward about this whole treatment by our congressional delegation, by our governor of the three tribes who are being punished at the expense of the two tribes who have these very lucrative casinos. That is watering down the standards to the point where really there, there is really almost no standards left. I mean, Joe Courtney is fighting the changes. He's taken thousands in campaign donations from federally recognized tribes. Like many other people in, in eastern Connecticut who uh, support my campaign, they've made that decision to support me as well. Congressman John Larson, too. Since 2000, he's taken nearly $45,000 from federally recognized tribes. He doesn't want the rules to change either. Does that money equal influence? No, no more than uh, uh, the monies for the F-35 or the F-22 or for the autistic children. These are issues that I support. The final decision about what happens with recognition rules could come down later this year. From there, it could have big implications on the state, more sovereign nations or chaos in Connecticut. It all depends on who you ask and which way the political winds blow. If they were in fact legitimate land claims, there'd be no Connecticut left. The decision was supposed to come down in June. Now they want to come to Connecticut and hear from homeowners and the tribes themselves. A decision could be coming down later this year. For the News 8 investigators, David Iverson reporting. Well, if you have something you want the investigators to look into, give them a call. That number right there on your screen, it's 203-402-TIP-8.